Hello and welcome back to Josh Oda YouTube. Today I'm going to be telling you three things you should not be doing in your golf swing. I'm normally telling you what you should do, but today we're going to be talking about the don'ts. So please tell me you're not doing one of these three things. If you are, you need to stop. Okay, number one, probably the worst thing you could ever do in your golf swing, the reverse pivot. So what is the reverse pivot? When you go to the top of the backswing, you're in your lead side, and then when you come through, you're in your trail side, falling off the golf ball. A horrible move that is gonna lead to so many disasters in your golf swing. And if you do this, I'd simply recommend trying something like lifting that lead leg off the ground on the backswing, just to get that weight transfer right and then raising the trail leg on the follow through. Something really simple just to get them transfer of weight right in the golf swing and that reverse pivot is just gonna go instantly. So if you are someone that reverse pivot, get on that drill where you raise that lead leg on the backswing, raise the trail leg on the follow through. Number two is gonna be a really basic one, but it's gonna be ball position. So if you're someone that keeps the same ball position for every shot, I can tell you now for a fact, you're not doing it right. Something like a driver should be played right off of that front foot, you know, so you've got enough time to get that club going up on the golf ball. Something like a seven iron is gonna be more in the middle of the stance, so you're hitting down on it. You know, when you talk about wedges as well, you've got like a chip shot, where you can then go into your chipping stance, and you might be playing off that back foot. So. You know, vary the ball position based on what club you are using. Something that you might be underlooking, but it's very, very important and definitely going to help you in your game if you get them ball positions right. Okay, number three, the final one. Probably something that we've all done before, but I'm here to tell you, you need to stop doing it. And that is going to be simply stop trying to hit the golf ball so goddamn hard. You do not need to hit the ball as far as your mate, if he's hitting it 350. You know, just accept that your good golf swing might be a little bit behind his. Hit your four iron closer than he hits his seven iron. That's something that I would say to people that don't hit it as far. Swing within yourself. Don't try and keep up with your mates. Um, you know, them guys that hit it 350 might look fantastic, but they might be out of bounds on the next hole and you might be straight down the middle. So something that's very, very important Keep in your good tempo. And for me, how I find a good tempo is a golf swing that I can make staying in balance. So notice how I'm not falling off the ball. I'm in a good balanced position. You often see with guys that are swinging it way too hard, you know, they're looking like this when they finish the golf swing, you know, almost like they're going for a dance. Don't look like that. Keep in that good balanced position and hopefully you'll be down the middle of the fairway. Okay, so to round up that video, reverse pivot, get rid of it. Number two, ball position. Make sure you're getting that ball position correct. It's so, so important to making that consistent golf game, especially when you see guys hitting driver off of the back foot or middle of the stance and they're wondering why it's not getting in the air. Something as simple as ball position can really, really help you. And number three, good tempo, swing within yourself, you know, hit it to your comfortable distance. Don't try and play catch up with all your mates. Stay hitting it in the fairways and hit them close iron shots. If you did learn anything new, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you all for the next one.